We're looking at a live picture from our Roanoke Blacksburg Airport sky cam. Started out the day with some sun, but yeah, well, the clouds have moved in. <laughs> We've seen more sun today east, more clouds west, and it looks as though we're going to continue to have these clouds hanging tough here for the next couple of days. Let's head on over and show you the radar. And although we have clouds around, there's not a whole lot of rain. Maybe a few sprinkles up towards the highland southern Shenandoah. And we do have one isolated shower near Mount Rogers in western Grayson County areas near Troutdale, dealing with a little bit of rain right along Highway 16, Flat Ridge Road, areas near Honey Grove Road, also dealing with a shower. This is heading to the east and could feasibly impact you folks in Galax here over the next 30 to 45 minutes or so. Bigger picture showing that we're kind of surrounded by the rain. Rain north, rain south, rain west. What all this tells me is that it's going to stay on the unsettled side here for the next couple of days. Looks like as we head into Friday and Saturday, our chance for rain will increase and then the chance for rain may actually decrease a wee bit on Sunday. Future tracker showing that overnight. We are looking at the best chance for a few showers likely lying from now through about 9 10 o'clock in the evening. After that, we should dry things out and perhaps see a little bit of fog developing. This is Friday 730 in the morning and notice that we could have a stray shower into our northernmost counties. Otherwise, tomorrow the best chance for rain and a few embedded storms will come in the afternoon and evening. So after about 1230 tomorrow, I'd keep an eye to the sky. I think the best chance for some heavier rain will probably lie along and south of Highway 460 in the mid to late afternoon hours. Now as we head into tomorrow evening, there'll still be the chance for some lingering showers. I would say after about 1 a.m. on Saturday, we should start to perhaps dry things out for a brief amount of time. Maybe a few showers early to start out Saturday out across south side. And then once again on Saturday after about one, we're going to have more scattered thunder showers in the forecast. All right, big game going on tonight. Salem Red Sox, the Bowie's Creek Astros at beautiful Haley Toyota Field. First pitch is at 7.05 and the weather looks to cooperate. Now don't expect to see pristine blue skies. It's not going to be that way at all. We're actually going to have, I think, mainly cloudy skies, but I think we're dry. Can't rule out a sprinkle, but for the most part, we're dry. 75 during the first inning and then by the ninth inning, temperatures fall to near 70. Tropical satellite showing that we did have a landfalling hurricane last night in Mexico. Of course, this is Franklin. Franklin made its way on shore with winds of 85 miles per hour and could produce up to 15 inches of rain out across Mexico. Now, we're not concerned about this here. It's going to certainly stay to the south of us, but we'll continue to watch it because uh, Mexico has a lot of high terrain and that could create a lot of mudslides. Tropical development over the next five days. There's one system we're watching to the east of Guadalupe and as it heads to the north and west, the National Hurricane Center gives this thing about a 40% chance to develop. And notice where the development area could potentially be a little bit closer to the United States. So we'll watch that again closely for you. Right now, 40% chance isn't a very high chance, but we'll keep a close eye on it. We promise you that. 77 in Lexington, 79 Smith Mount Lake, 82 in Danville at 68 Hillsville and Galax. Dew points right now are in the 50s and low to mid 60s. A little bit more humid out there today than where we have been, and those dew points will continue to go up. Look at that. Mid to upper 60s is what we're looking at in the dew point department Friday all the way through Sunday. Simply put, the higher the dew point, the more moisture you're readily accessible in our atmosphere, the stickier you are. So for tonight, we're looking mostly cloudy overnight lows in the middle 60s with a state with a stray sprinkle, maybe even a little bit of fog around and then tomorrow off and on showers, maybe even a stray storm with highs around 80 85 for us on Saturday, 84 on Sunday, 79 to 83 next week. I do think that the best chance for rain for us over the next seven days will lie Friday. Saturday and then again on Monday and Tuesday looking to next Wednesday and Thursday. High pressure will finally come back into play for us.